In the news tonight, Barbie's engineer now charged with murder of girlfriend. And 59% increase in fatal accidents, says traffic chief. 129 death accidents, with 151 deaths, of which five were also children. That speaks to an increase of 59% where fatal accidents are concerned. Neil Majumutu, the Burbies engineer who was previously charged with the attempted murder of his fiance, Ashwin Mohadio, today saw that charge updated to murder. The 29 year old man from New Amsterdam Burbies appeared before Magistrate Peter Yu at the New Amsterdam Magistrate's Court this morning, where the indictable charge was read to him. 22 year old Ashwin Mohadio of Williamsburg Quarantine Burbies was shot in the back of her neck and was hospitalized in a critical condition. She succumbed to her injuries last Sunday. Her fiancé, Neil Majmutu, was slapped with an attempted murder charge following the incident on October 1st and was released on $500,000 bail. Today, that charge was updated to murder and he was remanded to prison until November 22nd. He was represented by attorney at law, Nigel Hughes. Mahadio's family is hoping that justice will be served in the matter. Family members recall hearing a loud explosion coming from outside of the Williamsburg home and then saw Ashman lying at the gate. Her brother Narish Mahadio said his sister was in a critical condition and was left paralyzed from the time of the incident. You will never decline. Extra lemon and lime. It's the two combined. It's one of a kind. Extra lemon and lime. Extra lemon and lime. Taste the citrus in every sip. Say goodbye to germs with a free Sterling Super Soap automatic dispenser. That's right. Get free equipment and installation of our touch free dispenser. The perfect amount of soap every time ensures clean and germ-free hands. Refilling is quick and easy with four amazing fragrances. Coconut, Sunflower Sunrise, Pink Blossom and Citrus Zest. Call us on 265-7403. Ansha, I'm the manager over here at Brooklyn Institute of Vocational Training. We provide home health tech training here. For that, we have flexible classes, which includes morning, evening, and the weekend class. You can choose any class, whichever is convenient for you. Also, this career is now at the peak. This career pay rate increases from 1909 till up to 2109 now. I speak different languages which includes Hindi, Punjabi, Urdu, Bangla and our certificate is recognized all over the New York because we are licensed from Board of Education. Once you graduated from our school, you can work with any agency anywhere in New York. Our address is 110-05 Liberty Avenue, Queens. Guys, I know the name is Brooklyn Institute but we are located in Queens. I repeat the address 110-05 Liberty Avenue. Queens 11419 is our zip code and my number is 929-386-0092. If you have any questions, you can always call me and I'm, I will be happy to answer all your questions. Oh, don't forget to check our website www.mybrooklyninstitute.com. Come join our school and get home health aid certificate as we like to believe changing lives one student at a time.
it's back again. The Guyana Public Service Cooperative Credit Union Make My Wish Come Through Christmas promotion is here. What are you wishing for this Christmas? It's another exciting Christmas promotion designed with you, our members, in mind. This Christmas, you can win big household appliances ranging from a fridge, washing machine, gas cooker, dining table, television sets, and much, much more. Here's how you can be a part of our Christmas promotion. You must be a member of the credit union in good standing. You must have an existing loan or must have taken your first loan with the credit union. You must fill out a coupon with your information clearly marked. Coupons for this promotion can be uplifted from our head office at Lot 45 Hatfield Street, Georgetown or from any one of our regional representatives countrywide. Promotion runs from October 30th to December 15th, 2023. What are you wishing for this Christmas? GPS CCU, people helping people. <laughs> Traffic Chief Mahindra Singh is reporting a 59% increase in fatal accidents for this year as compared to the corresponding period last year. He made a disclosure during his Christmas policing presentation, which was held at Ivlery. Comparative figures of accidents and deaths for 2022-2023. When in 2022 we had 81 fatal accidents with 88 deaths with included 5 children, corresponding to this period we have 129 death accidents with 151 deaths, of which five were also children. That speaks to an increase of 59% where fatal accidents are concerned. Singh gave the breakdown by regions. Comparative figures regionally. When we look at this table, there are several plus represented by reductions. In region number one, there was a minus 50% across all category of accidents. Region number two, nothing significant to jump about. There was an increase, 40%. Region three, there was a minus, almost breaking. And region four, which is split into three police divisions. There was a minus 12% in region 4A. 1% increase at 4B, which is the East Bank. And on 4C, the East Coast, there was a minus 10%. Region five, there was a 24% increase. Six, a 17% increase. Region 7 onwards, minus 35%, minus 50%, minus 25%, and minus 20%. This table helps us to analyze and understand clearly where our issues are, reference each type of accident, and it helps us to deploy further. So regionally when aggregated, the statistics, statistics reveal an overall decrease of accidents by 200 or minus 9%. He noted that pedestrians, drivers, motorcyclists and pedicyclists are some of the categories of road users that have lost their lives. He explained that most of the accidents which occurred comparatively in 2022 and 2023 happened on our main thoroughfares.
Now get ready. It's the 61st National School Cycling, Swimming and Track and Field Championships from November 26th through December 1, 2023, hosted by the Ministry of Education and the Guyana Teachers Union. The moment you've been waiting on is here. Come and see top student athletes and teachers from 15 sporting districts compete in intense rivalry. Come and enjoy cycling at the National Park Georgetown, swimming at the National Aquatic Center Lillianal, November 27th. And from November 28th to December 1, you can witness the track and field action at the National Track and Field Center Lenora, West Coast Demerara. The action starts 10 hours. The National Championships, where stars are born. Sponsored by Rainforest Water, Vitamol, Power Aid, Malta Supreme, Triscuits, Demico Ice Cream, Digital Guyana, and Impressions. Washi. Hi, people. Washing made so easy since I found Washi. Washing me use wash me clothes and I can say. Wash your soap powder, wash clothes so nice. Wash your soap powder, leave your clothes color bright. Wash your soap powder, leave me clothes smelling nice, of course. So give thanks for wash your soap powder for doing my laundry in right. Keep my clothes color bright. Have my clothes smelling nice for sure. I could not ask for more. Comes in lemon and original. It is a washing machine in a pack. Wash your soap powder, wash clothes so nice. Wash your soap powder, leave your clothes color bright. Wash your soap powder, have my clothes smelling nice, of course. Distributors located in the Starbrook market. Police officers within Regional Division 3 are in search of five men said to be Venezuelans who attacked a 46 year old taxi driver and left him with several chop wounds about his body. According to a statement released by the Police Communications Department on Wednesday, the victim, who was being identified as Sean Smith, had picked up the five men on Sunday at approximately 1.45 hours. Their destination was Ruby Bagdam. Smith related to investigators that while on the journey, one of the five men pulled out a knife and began to chop him on his hand. He then stopped the vehicle and exited the car in a bit to escape, but the men followed him and continued to chop him after which they escaped. He was later found by a farmer on the shed in his yard and was accompanied to the Lenora Hospital to be treated for his injuries. The police on Thursday said that a raid was conducted in Ruby Bagdam where 41 Venezuelan men were detained for an identification parade. However, given the severity of Smith's injuries, he could not stand as such. Pictures of the 41 were shown to him to ascertain whether he recognized any of them as being among the five who attacked him, but he told investigators that he did not recognize any of the men as his attacker. Smith, according to images seen, was chopped to his neck and hand. The taxi driver underwent surgery for the gaping wound which stretched from the back of his neck to on his chin. He also had stitches for the two cuts to his hand. The police have said that the investigation is ongoing. For these and other stories, do visit us at our website www.rdproductiongy.com.